how much fun, recreation and rest do you incorporate into your life every day? This question is not just for parents, it's actually for everybody. Even though we're going to be zoning in on the parents. But if you're a parent or not, this also speaks to you. You know, most times growing up, you find out that we always find a way to entertain ourselves. Either you're playing with your siblings, or you're playing with the neighbors, or you're just running around all by yourself in the house, outside the house, in the field, wherever. We just find a way to have fun, our own created kind of fun, letting out and exerting all those energies. Whether it was a good day, a bad day, we find a way to have fun. Then we begin to grow up, the adulting phase, and you find out that there are many other things that seem to be clogging our mind. And those things are actually very important. They need our attention. In fact, undivided attention for us to make progress in those areas of our lives. But we tend to forget that there is this critical area of our life that every other thing kind of rests on top of. So I know many of us would have stumbled on the wheel of life where you see the circle that's divided into critical eight areas. You know, but we divide into 12 areas thanks to my own trainer. And I love the way that circle is because it was set in a thematic way, meaning that you can clearly see from that circle that one area of your life is affecting the other area of your life. But not to bore us with all of that, you realize also, without even looking at the wheel or even being educated about the wheel of life or different areas of your life, you find out that when something is happening in one area of your life, it tends to affect the other area of your life. A perfect example, things are not working well at home. You find out that such a person might not be giving a hundred at work or might be giving a hundred and fifty at work because they are running away from what is happening at home. So the home is affecting the office or the office is affecting the home. So you see that perfect scenario. So now let's bring it down to fun, recreation and rest. When we are stressed, when we are frustrated, when it looks as if there are a lot of things on our plates and then we push aside fun, recreation, rest, you find out that that affects health and wellness because our mental sanity is being affected. We are not getting the maximum rest that we should be getting because we are stressing. Neither are we having fun. I mean, where does fun and stress come in play? You find out that should you have enough rest on a certain day, your head is clearer. And it's not just about sleeping. This goes beyond sleep. In fact, there is a way to sleep. There is a way to go to bed. There is a way to wake up. There is a way to start off your day that just gives you that optimum perfect day. Put that aside. When you are having fun, when you incorporate fun in almost everything you do on a daily basis, you realize that you are not stressing as much as you would stress. So even if some other areas seem not to be working well, you are looking forward to this fun time where you ease off and then you are able to think clearly and that thing stressing you doesn't seem to be stressing as much as it was stressing you. If it is difficult to do that, then find a little place or a little time in your day where you could incorporate fun. Because as parents, we go about our day, we go about whether you work or you're home, whatever it is you're doing, you find out that you're just overwhelmed with doing the same thing every time. Then you are thinking of all the bills to be paid, what they are going to cook the next minute. Oh, are my children doing well? If they are off to boarding house, you are thinking about too. You are thinking about every single thing. Except yourselves. Father, when last did you think about, oh, I'm going to do this for me? Mother, when last did you say to yourself, oh, this particular thing, this one, is for me. When is it going to be for you? That's not us being selfish. 
it is us taking care of us. Because if at different times in your day, you feel stressed, you just want to be left alone, you are becoming edgy, there's something wrong. And if you are the one who would usually yell at the children, at your spouse, you know, there is something going on. So what we feel most times is telling us something that is going on within us. And it's time for us to pause, think about it, and get fun, recreation, and rest, spicing up our day. When we are able to do that, you find out it doesn't take away the problems that seem to exist. But guess what? It helps you go through them, giving you a different perspective. And once your perspective has the ability to change, oh, the problem really changes. We all should begin to incorporate fun, recreation, and rest in our day. Whatever it is that you call fun, do it. Have that thing in your day that you do for you. And guess what? It really doesn't have to be so expensive. It can be anything at all that gives you this level of happiness that makes you feel relaxed and peaceful. It could also be saying no to some certain things. It could be you saying, no, I'm not doing that. No, that's not my job to do. No, you can put your monkey on my back. No, I'm not interested in this kind of conversations. No, it could be all that. So it is you taking care of you, taking care of your space, physically, your space, mentally. This week, what do you plan to do for yourself? So plan it out and then do it. Parents, take care of you.